Two at 11 outrage in the Tower District. Residents there say a new bar owner is erasing their culture after it painted over one of the neighborhood's older murals. The mural was on the side of the building where the bar and lounge, the landmark, was. New owners took over in 2016. KC24's Dennis Valera talked to residents and the artist who say this should spark a conversation of public art in the city. And it was more just uh, shock, I think, than anything else. Tim Crimmins' reaction to seeing this wall, a gray square, rolled onto the same spot where one of his favorite murals used to be. He posted his discovery on Facebook and many agreed. This was a hit on Towers culture. And I know it's not the Mona Lisa, you know, or the Last Supper, but, you know, just as much inspiration and, and sweat and uh, effort went to put into putting this up as it, you know, any of those. The old home of the landmark was bought in 2016. Since then, it's slowly turned into splash. The new owners, with the blessing of the Tower District Design Review Committee, decided to paint over it. Many say murals are what helps define Tower's charm, including the artist Josh Wigger. He said he spoke with the owners a year and a half ago about this and, pending funding, would paint a new one. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting something going with the owner uh, and, and making a new mural. It's been a long time since a real deal mural has gone up in Tower District. A member of the Design Review Committee said there aren't any guidelines on retaining murals. Wigger says this all shows Fresno wants public art, but still needs to figure out how to foster it. If there was a place to be able to say like, hey, we have money allocated to do murals in Tower District or the Mural District or, you know, up north or wherever it is, west side, east side, it, it would be great. Dennis Valera, KC24, Local News That Matters.